I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. The timing of that is rather convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. we found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic.
Auto drive now enabled. Malaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's pop in and say hello, shall we? Not so fast. Hamis isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Fucking paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Those windows up there, are they a good option? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Of course, easy peasy. was better than sex. This fellow is rather obsessive when it comes to rigging traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Of course, easy peasy. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
one more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, let's not get dramatic. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? <laughs> Ouch. Think more countercultural. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Just wait! Albion knows you're in London! Killing me won't change that! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't <sighs> you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Trust me, we know. Jesus, why else would I be here? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. We want your help. There's no love lost between us and Cass. He's behind the bombings. He tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. Table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Ah! <laughs> I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them, or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. 
I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Hmm. Hmm. Tower of London. It's very heavily guarded. We can't get in there. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Hello, hello. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? We're making the best of a bad situation. If we don't raid the tower and stop this meeting, Cass will inflict his new project on all of us. That's not my idea of a good time. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Intriguing. Send me their details, won't you? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. I say, I don't like our chances of recruiting someone from Albion. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. 
Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. It seems to me you're ready to fight the powers that be. Are you with Dad Sec? Because I could use your assistance. I'll have a look at our schedule. What's wrong? My friend has a rare medical condition. Unfortunately, with the NHS in disarray, they haven't been able to get treatment in months. We were out of options until this time Kelly doctor said they'd help for a price. I didn't know what else to do, so I paid them. Keep talking. That bastard. The drugs worked, but it turned out they were addictive. The second my friend was hooked, the doctor inflated the price. A bloody villain. Don't fret. We'll make sure your friend gets the medicine they need. Leave me be. Oh. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Can you track this man down, Bagley? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. And he's got highly secure your laptop with him too. That should contain the whereabouts of the drug shipment. There's the laptop.
Time to pick up where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. Christ. Promise me if I'm ever hurt and won't wake up, you'll end it. There's the laptop. Scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. Seems your mate took quite a bash in and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online.
I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years' worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Grant! There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it.
the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. Child's play. This is exactly why I was recruited. location where our friend can pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now. Over. Control, we are pursuing the suspects. Over. Control, I can't see the suspect. Please advise. Visual. Anyone? Target resisting arrest. Using restraining measures. Uh, Received. We are in pursuit. Unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. I did what you asked. The drugs your friend needs are safe. They're in a truck that our AI Bagley will send you the coordinates to. Anyway, I owe you a favor now. DeadSec is looking to fill the ranks. You should join. Fine. I'm in. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed.
Excellent. The more of us we are, the stronger we are. Welcome to DeadSec. Yes, well, I'm ready to help however I can. Good to hear. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken-by-the-system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Right. Resuming my normal duties. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Intruder alert. 
Intruder alert! Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You're quite knowledgeable about cars, aren't you? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. I'll admit Dad's ex resources certainly make this easier. Everything is proceeding on schedule, and Mr. Cass is asked to help to make the ones there 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 to make the ones They better not be just a bunch of terrorists. This door clearly requires a security pass. Well, that's just great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Well, I like this, but you've been up there late. Well, some parts of the city that he'd have put where he with some heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But as always, yeah, look. Sure. Let's what you're taking care of them. No, no. I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back in operation. I'm not going to get fucking sensitive. I'm not sure. Some rumblings are there. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Show me. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Grand. They put someone incapable of processing their emotional baggage in charge of our security. Just grand. Yeah, well... Nigel was never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Seems a bit tense. 
How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. God. One more. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd call us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to docking breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. Badly, I need an exit. Quickly! The catacombs, fam. Go, go, go! Made you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. He knows how to get his way, and he wants this Themis project launched post haste. I doubt that's good news for London.
What the fuck? I don't like this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Let me out. 